Hi everyone, it's James again. It's June 17th, 2023. I'm walking along a river called Ikawa Dani. This is in Kobe. I'm jogging along this long, narrow path and I don't see anyone around. It is hot. It suddenly got hot. It's 26 degrees Celsius. It's about 11.20 a.m. I'm jogging to, sorry, Akashi City, which is right ahead, straight ahead. So just crossing over this bridge takes me into Akashi City. This is really nice. The water is normally shallow and sometimes there's no water. The farmers control the water. That's a uh, river water. And th that water goes into the crops and there it go goes a Shinkansen. Isn't that cool? A bullet train. That's probably going west to probably uh, southwestern or the western part of Japan, like Hiroshima. Him Himeji Hiro Hiroshima, that away. Okay. Up there you see a sign, a blue sign. You probably can't see it from from where you're at, from where I'm at. Okay, so that takes you to Akashi. So all, all I need to do is cross. Oh, don't drop my phone. Just cross under that bridge. And then I'm in Akashi City. Now look at this. How do, how do I cross this? Luckily, Locks. Run a bit. At some point I need to go up. There's a dead end. Okay, now I'm about to cross into Akashi City. Okay, now I am officially in Akashi. And that side is Kobe. This is a really nice place to, to go for a walk, run, Maybe bring a light cycling bike. Uh, bring your family down here. There's fish in the water, but you have to mind your children because it's, uh, it gets a little deep in some areas. Don't take a chance. Just up ahead is Akashi Park. I'm going to go through it and we'll see you there. But first I need to cross this. Watch me cross this, then I'll stop. Mind you, there's no lighting here at night. So um, although Japan is safe, I wouldn't recommend females to run or to come this way alone, just in case, or children as well. Okay, see you at Akashi Park. I'm almost at Akashi Park, which is behind those big trees. There's a little cemetery. I need to keep going along, along this path till I find some stairs to climb up. I made it to Akashi Park. This is one of the entrances. I need to climb up the stairs. Let's go. Just straight ahead. There is a couple of tennis courts, a baseball diamond. You are allowed to bring your bicycles into the park, but you have to get off here and push it in. No motorcycles are allowed. And here's a nice little, little forest. So 
sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep my phone stable. Okay. Okay, so I'm heading to the main entrance, which is that away. To my left is a man-made pond. Down there, there's a, an open field. Shall we go down? I think we should. It's cooler up here, but I'm gonna try to show you, show you around. There's a washroom. There are many washrooms around here. Take a look at this field. It's not so big, it's not so small either. So you can hang out here, have a picnic. You can bring in maybe an umbrella. No pop-up tents allowed. Watch out. They need to cut this grass. There is a man-made pond and a boat rental. Paddle boats, pedal boats up ahead. We're gonna pass it. This is Akashi Park. It's simply beautiful here. What does that sign say? What? Okay, no pop-up tents. Okay, you can have a picnic, but, but no pop-up tents. Let's go this way. Pick a bench. Hi, Pigeon. Isn't this beautiful? There's a bit of a breeze. Hey, there's a pedal boat. It looks like a helicopter. There's fish and turtles in the water. Okay, let's move on. I'm in front of the boat rental. Let's see the prices. Okay, you see that green machine? That's for people to buy food for the fish. It's, it's called Essa. Okay, they're open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Can you buy your tickets from this machine? <laughs> For three people, 30 minutes. Six people, 20 minutes. 900 yen for those boats. They have washrooms here. And they have drinks and instant food. They have cold drinks and you can pay by using your PETA or Ikoka card. Alcoholic beverages. You need to be at least 20 years old. You can buy ice cream, coffee, juices, and instant noodles, cup noodle. Oh, this, okay, this is for hot water. Look at this. It dispenses hot water for free. That's pretty cool. Hello, Stork. That's a real stork. There seems to be some match up ahead. Anyway, the building to my left, um, I think it's an art center or a cafe. A cafe. There's a cafe here. They also have ice cream. It doesn't seem to be open. It is open. They have different kinds of ice cream here. Vanilla, matcha, chocolate. Is that chocolate? Strawberry, soda. What is that? Ice coffee for 400 yen, hot coffee 400 yen, shaved ice for 450 yen. Pretty cool. There's another place up ahead, right at the very front. Let's go and check it out. I'm standing next to, or just below, Akashi Castle. 
you can't go in it it's just for display it's not as great as a Tokyo Castle or uh, Osaka Castle or Nagoya Castle or Himeji Castle the other great castles it's it's plain I mean you can't do anything you just go up there there's a free panoramic area that's it and up ahead is an open field I'm gonna head to the front there's another cafe there and a robot samurai I see some people picnicking on the other side oh someone popped up a tent they're gonna be towed to take that tent down by the staff for sure but anyway there's a zen garden on the other side plenty of washrooms there's a cafe just up ahead it's an open cafe and there's a robot samurai to my right but it's not moving it's not it's not moving Oh, nice concept. Too many people over there, so I'm leaving. Okay, so this is the front entrance to Akashi Castle. Welcome to Central Akashi. There is a semi moat around this castle. I hope you like this tour of Akashi and my jog. We'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.